The City of San Diego welcomes you to this helpful resource provided by the Short-Term Residential Occupancy Program for a brief explanation of the STRO tiers. This resource may be useful for hosts that may need assistance when determining which license tier they should apply for. The City of San Diego Office of the City Treasurer provides this information as general guidance on the City's short-term residential occupancy ordinance. This information is provided as a public service and should not be construed or relied upon in any way as legal advice or a legal opinion. Although all efforts are taken to keep content timely and accurate, there may be a delay in the time it takes to correct any errors brought to our attention. Please refer directly to the full text of the ordinance. This legend references key images that will be used as visual aids throughout this presentation. The key terms will include the host's home, host, accessory dwelling unit, triplex or three dwelling units, duplex or two dwelling units, and home with multiple bedrooms. A Tier 1 license is required for home share or whole home short-term residential occupancy of a dwelling unit for 20 days or less per year. There are no limits on the number of available licenses for Tier 1, and they may be applied for year-round. There is no requirement of a host to live on-site for the Tier 1 license. They may reside on-site or live off-site. A Tier 2 license is required for home sharing. This tier is intended for a host who plans to rent a room or rooms in a home for more than 20 days per year and if the host is the permanent resident who resides on site for at least 275 days per year. In other words, the host may be absent from the dwelling unit for no more than 90 days per year. During the 90-day period, the STRO can be rented as a whole home STRO. There are no limits on the number of available Tier 2 licenses, and it may be applied for year-round. There is no maximum limit on the amount of days the STRO can be rented out, so long as it is being operated for 20 days or more. There are multiple different scenarios of how a Tier 2 license can be used. The following will exemplify those possible scenarios. A host may fall under the category of a Tier 2 license if the host rents out a room or rooms in their primary residence for more than 20 days per year and lives on site at least 275 days per year. A Tier 2 license will apply if a host owns a duplex and lives in one of the dwelling units and rents the other unit as STRO. As long as the host resides on site in the unit 275 days per year. A Tier 2 license would also apply to a host who owns a triplex and lives in one unit but wants to rent out the other two units as STRO. A host may use a Tier 2 license for the unit they live in or one other unit, but not both. If the third unit were to be used as STRO, an additional host would need to be identified and a Tier 3 or Tier 4 license, depending on location, would be required as that host does not reside on site. If two people reside on site, like in the example shown on the right, each person could be the host of one of the units using a Tier 2 license. Please note, both scenarios 3A and 3B would be applicable to multiple dwelling units on the same parcel, such as a floorplex. The dwelling units do not have to be attached to each other, but they must be on the same parcel. A Tier 2 license is applicable if the host lives in their main house at least 275 days per year and has an accessory dwelling unit on the same parcel. If the ADU was permitted prior to the September 2017 prohibition, then it can be used as STRO. Please note, a host may live in the ADU regardless of when it was permitted and offer the main home as STRO. A Tier 3 license applies to those intending to operate STRO for more than 20 days per year where the host does not reside on site. A host may live on site, but it is not a requirement of the Tier 3 license. The number of Tier 3 licenses issued shall not exceed 1% of San Diego's total housing units, excluding the Mission Beach Community Planning Area. Tier 3 licenses are anticipated to be issued via a lottery if more than the total number of applications received are greater than the number of licenses available. Tier 3 applies to all community planning areas within the City of San Diego except Mission Beach. 
Tier 4 only applies to the Mission Beach Community Planning Area and pertains to those intending to operate STRO for more than 20 days per year where the host does not reside on site. A host may live on site, but the host is not required to. The number of Tier 4 licenses issued shall not exceed 30% of the total housing units in the Mission Beach CPA. Tier 4 licenses are anticipated to be issued via a lottery if more than the total number of applications received are greater than the number of licenses available. On behalf of the City of San Diego, we thank you for watching this helpful explanation of the four license tiers for short-term residential occupancy.